as a video editor, if you have a lot of clients, you don't have life. Where did you scale to within a 30 day period after joining the program? I went from 2K to 10K a month. And I will say less than a month. Have you started leveraging AI, like using the AI scriptwriter? AI scriptwriter is a killer. I cannot believe this exists. Where would you say your business is gonna be in the next six to 12 months? In the next six to 12 months, we're expecting to hit Hey, what's going on guys? I'm here with Piero. He's inside of my coaching program and he managed to scale up pretty quickly. So I want to get him here on this interview so you guys can hear from him. So Piero, what's up? Just give us a quick intro, who you are, what you do and where you're from. Hey man, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure here. To be honest, I didn't expect to grow as fast as uh, I did. First of all, my name is Piero. I'm from Venezuela, but I live in Canada. I started as a video editor at first and I was like, okay, now I'm trading my time for money. I want to scale. I want to have a business and actually, you know, be able to scale and have multiple clients because as a video editor, if you have a lot of clients, I mean, you're, you don't have life. You're going to be stuck in the computer and it's going to be very hard to hit like a lot of numbers like Eamon is doing and like, you know, other bunch of guys on the program are doing right now. Awesome. Thanks for the quick intro. So tell us real quick, like, where did you scale to within a 30 day period after joining the program? So yeah, I went from 2K to 10K a month pretty quick in I will say less than a month. The highest one I hit was 12K. But yeah, right now I'm sitting around 10K. I'm just uh, trying to, you know, implement all the other stuff on my business so I can just scale and not crash. Yeah, that's awesome. So tell me, I know you mentioned before you were like video editing previously, but now you've got actually a team in place helping you with the fulfillment. Is that correct? Exactly. Yes, we got a team of three video editors, one graphic designer and one copywriter. So we are able to, you know, provide the best quality for our uh, clients. Awesome. Cool. And then I know the main method you used to scale up was the golden bullet method, right? Also known as the dream 100 method. 100% because I didn't have a big audience like you have or like other people have. So, you know, I needed this kind of method to be able to uh, reach out the right way and be able to just be as efficient with my time because there are, you know, sometimes when you join or something and, you know, there's a lot of people on YouTube telling you to do this, doing that, but they don't really actually tell you what to do that works. So when Ayman says like, okay, you know what, like stop listening to everybody and just focus to this method, then you're going to see that after like a couple weeks, because it takes time, at least two, three weeks to see results. After that, it's when, you know, everything starts to compound. And one thing I learned from you is that the moment you stop outreaching, the moment you stop using this method, it kind of like, you know, you're going to be stopped for a couple weeks, but that's why it's important of being consistent and like, you know, never stop working. Yeah. Like what I learned is exactly what you said, because I learned the hard way with you guys, at least I'm giving you all the info after I did all the mistakes. Like there's like two times in my business where like I stopped sending messages to people and then it just took like three weeks before it really restarted again. So now just like you said, as long as you're consistently sending messages and outreach, you know, whether it's two a day, three a day, five a day, preferably five per day, then yeah, you'll be able to scale up nicely. So I want to make sure this video is valuable for other people watching this, whether they're just trying to get into the business, they're just getting started, or maybe they already have something going on on the side. What were you doing to get clients and new money in through the door before joining the program? And then what changed? So before I was editing at a low price. So that that's the reason why I was getting clients because of the price. You know, I knew people that knew that wanted my services. And the reason why I knew them is because I have an Instagram page, a theme page on Instagram where I could reach out easily to people or people reach out to me. But I didn't knew my value or my worth or even just how valuable this is for other business owners. So I was always selling cheap and they were always buying because they're like, oh my God, this is high quality and very low cost. So uh, the ROI they're getting is like very high. So that's why I was getting money, but I was, you know, making like 2K, 3K. I never did 5K from this service. So I was like, okay, but how can I like push and how can I go, you know, further? and, you know, get to the next level on my business. So I stopped trading my time for money and actually, you know, make more money for my business. And I start helping more people. And also my clients get a, a better service because, you know, if I have a team, I'm going to be able to perform 10 times better than if I do everything alone. Yeah, 100%. When you're scrambling on your own, like you're doing the editing and then you're also like communicating with the client and like just doing so many things. There's so many moving pieces to it. Like, like you said, the client's going to get worse results if you're kind of just like doing this solo. But when you actually build out a team to help 
automate certain bits of it definitely helps a lot. Another thing that was missing on, on the business is the side of like automations and all the things that you need to do to have a successful business. Because usually we think that, oh, in order to make more money, we just need to get more clients. But there's also the fulfillment side of things that I was struggling like, okay, but how can I fulfill to this amount of people? Like you were able to show us that pretty simple. So, you know, applying all of that to the business actually works. So yeah, thank you for that. Yep, got you. So walk me through, what does the time commitment look like on your end in terms of getting clients? Like how many messages are you sending per day? And then also like, how long does it take? Is it like an hour a day? Is it two? Is it more? Is it less? Yeah. So it will take me, it will depend of the days. Uh, there are days where I'm more, more committed to outreaching and there are days I will outreach, but less. So it will take me between two to three hours a day because I need to, you know, write the script and make sure that all the thing that I'm writing to the prospects has a lot of value. So this takes me a little, a little bit of my time, but I try to not surpass that 40 minutes per prospect. So yeah, I would say between two to three hours per day of outreach. Makes sense. And then have you started leveraging AI, like using the AI script writer to help you fulfill for clients and then also for the outreach? Yes, that AI script writer is a killer. Like not gonna lie. When you send it, I'm like, okay, this is, I cannot believe this exists. Or it worked that well because, you know, with AI and all this, you know, chat GPT and stuff, it doesn't really work that well. You know, it's a bot or you know that it's kind of average. Even if you pay, it's not the best. But with this, is uh, kind of templates that you sent us and you know just the hundred ideas template mixed with um, this AI it's just a no-brainer it gives you a hundred ideas and they all work they're amazing it's like oh my god this is perfect just let's just create it yeah that's awesome now I got a bit of a random question for you so how would you say this business model compares to like other stuff whether it's like Amazon FBA dropshipping trading like all these types of things how would you say the content agency model or just this whole model you've been doing compares to those perfect so I will say easy access but with easy access there's also low um, low competition because yes there's high competition but people out there they don't know what they're doing so if you're able to like be professional talk right to the client showcase results now you're you know so much ahead of everyone so i would say you don't need to invest a lot of money all you need to start is your time and work hard after that you're starting getting your first client second client and then you can scale up from there then you can hire video editors or you know graphic designers or members to your team and and then set up automations on your team. And then, you know, it's all about scaling and putting more reps. Yeah, 100%. Where would you say your business is going to be in the next six to 12 months if you had to project outwards from here? In the next six to 12 months, we're expecting to hit between 50K to 70K a month. Cool. And then what's like the profit level you're setting at? Because I know with me, my business, like we do about like 65% net after everything except taxes. So for you, what does that look like at your level at 10K a month? Right now, I'm at 60% profit margin. The reason why... I'm deciding to take a less profit is because I have a team and I rather spend more time looking for clients, outreaching than actually delivering for clients. You know, I rather spend a little bit and have a less pay to be able to, you know, grow and scale much faster. Because I know you started investing heavily in your team when you were around 30K, but I started doing it ar around 10K. Before that, I only had one team member and it was only my graphic designer. But after that, I started, you know, hiring video editors and it's going well. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, it's good you're doing that because then like you said you free up more time you can go send more messages reach out to more clients so yeah that's perfect if someone's on the fence of joining the program what would you tell them i will tell them to do it at 100 percent. there's a bunch of guys that did it and they're also you know getting tons of value because not only you're learning from Eamon who has a lot of experience but you also have like a community of people that are doing the same thing and if Eamon doesn't have the answer that most of the time he has it but you have like 20 other guys that has it also and they are also going to help you and we're in multiple niche niches because it's not only one agency for one niche we have you know multiple niches so you know there's multiple people from experience that can help you you know in your journey and you know the team it's very professional and yes awesome appreciate that yeah there's some people in there they're targeting like financial niche and then some other people are targeting like random wellness coaches or just random stuff so there's so many people that need content nowadays like we're really like in this boom you know what i mean where everyone needs content so we're positioned appropriately but yeah thank you so much for your time today piero i'm going to leave all of piero's links to his social media platforms in the description and for any Anybody watching this, if you want to join the program, it's going to be the first link in the description. All right, that's it. Catch you guys in the next one.